just add me to the Autotomsica site, then she'll put you through and we'll have your name there. Um, by the way, um, because we, for the 50th anniversary, we did the uh, uh, translation breakout group. Maybe you were there, maybe you weren't. It was 4 p.m. on uh, Saturday. And we, because uh, we were webcasting to the world, to a big audience, we were soliciting new members. We were really actively asking folks to please uh, take an interest and come uh, check it out. And we set up a uh, Gmail email address for people who wanted to find out more. And it is this, BTTS volunteers at gmail.com. So this is now an official email address that if you have uh, friends, neighbors, uh, talented young people who would like, who you think might be interested, have them send an email here and we'll get back to them and get them connected. Okay, so this is kind of a door, a door into the work of the people. Okay, without anybody saying anything else, let's start. David, can we forget anything? No. Okay. All right. Uh, the join me three four three six hundred nine nine three. Can we put our palms together and read the Chinese together? Okay, we can put down to me and Chinese room. The English on the screen comes from this version, which we are now trying to uh, bring up to date and to reflect our best efforts. So it's not always quite exactly the same, but you could mark where it's different. 
The other thing that would be very helpful is we're not saying ruling, we are saying guardian. Right. Guardian or guardian. Yeah, yeah. Wind guardian spirits. And I'm going to do this right now. <coughs> So infinitely many. Wind guardian spirits. And also, I think you were putting the word love. Mary, you wanna you wanna mention that? You meant you told me about that earlier. What what's your idea? Yeah, um, if we're putting it before uh, uh if we, we were saying, we would capitalize it if we were using it as a title. Um, but, uh, uh, and then it would just be wind or spirit. But if it's, if we're lowercase, it would be using it. Uh, So that means we have some major changing to do, doesn't it? But that's a secretarial thing. We don't have to do it in the uh, no, Not today, yeah. So everybody clear? So what Marion is saying is that we had agreed earlier on something that we didn't stop doing already. And what that was was each ruling spirit should have a the at the beginning of it. The difference being, David, you explain what's the difference? It was because I think I already explained it already. It's, it's, um, if you're pointing to a particular one, right. like if you say the senator from Oklahoma. Okay, okay. That's it. Yeah. So, I think. Um, also, you have to because I don't have access to Google Docs. Do you copy and paste the text with Google Docs to your. Let's. Uh, what? Because I'm, I'm using Nicest Writer, not, not Google Docs to do this. So you and I will have to change that as you catch up. Okay, so what we're saying is, instead of wind guardian spirit, English uses articles, a, and the, et cetera. So it requires the wind guardian spirit. Say again. There were also, in, now this is numerous, because we borrowed it from above, where it was shu, fuyo shu, right? So now it's infinitely many. Back to the young. Go above. In the prior, I copied the boilerplate from the one above last week, and this is wu shu. So we did infinitely numerous. Now above we had fuyang, and that's infinitely many, right? So we'll take it. We're back to Wuliang, so it should be infinitely many wind guardian spirits, including, and this goes away, including the wind guardian spirit. Okay, so we're up to speed now, ready? Okay, so here we have So Wei. For you not Chinese readers, this says literally that which was said, or that is to say or namely, right? Speaking of which, there's a lot of English phrases that, that, you, that we could use for this away. So that is to say, or <coughs> namely, and this is how we accounted for that. Including, so way it is including. Ma, ni, uh, Okay. So unobstructed, this is here it goes. No obstruction. Light, light, ruler, wind, spirit. Okay, so again, usually this the pattern here that we run into is Here's the name, this is the wind guardian. And then there are four characters that give us the specific name. So this is the 
the uh, general that's repeated ten times, and this is the, the specific name. So what we have is two words that mean light and the word for no obstacle. Translated earlier as unobstructed radiance. Anybody got an idea for that? That's, that's a little bit. Mm -hmm. Keep it? Keep it, okay. <coughs> so, Shurpa says, Fancy word 
which just means to to uh, to show up. To serve Fusher about courageous activity. Courageous activity. That's okay. I'm thinking, what is courageous activity? Courageous actions. Courageous activity. Um, like a uh, volunteer fireman engage in courageous activity, for example. Well, it's, not the, it's not the activity that's courageous. It's the person who's acting who's courageous. Okay. All right. Good. Ken, you said it. Okay. What what happens to the word karma? Okay, what happened to the word karma? It's this one. I said um, it's got a bunch of meanings, everything from action to career to work to simple uh, just, just doing. You know, all that is that word yeah appears in all of those. So what happened to it was this. I'm sorry, this one right here. There's Yia. So again, it's activity, actions, <coughs> courageous, that shows up, that appears everywhere. So acting with courage in all situations, way better than universally manifesting. <coughs> it's just clunky. Can anybody improve on it? Okay, next one. Here is again guardian wind spirit. This is Piao 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 Ji Yun Chuan. This word is banner. That's a familiar word that occurs in the Old Testament of the banner. Yun, yun is a cloud. Or mist sometimes. Ji, to strike, to hit, to attack. And yao is to float, to like, yao kara, like floating in the air. So floating, striking, cloud, banner. Or Interesting words. How do, what is a cloud band? A cloud band. And floating and striking. That's a very interesting idea. Here we need a commentary. It says, can you read it? Can you read it? And English terms. Um, okay, so it says wind guardian spirit drifting and striking far better on this old translation. There is a wind guardian spirit, and his name is wind guardian spirit drifting and striking uh, cloud banner. He is more ferocious, um, so you think that your buildings cannot be blown away. Well, he would use um, the wind, uh, the wind as powerful as um, as uh, bombs and rocks to um, blow away or bring down your abilities. Okay, so this, this wind spirit is so fierce that he can use a hand grenade or a, a satchel bomb or a pickup bomb to blow away your house. I'll help, and I'll help, and I'll blow your house down. The tornado, yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. What we get from the commentary is that it's not the banner that's doing the drifting and striking. It's the wind It's the clouds. Okay, right. <coughs> so here it is. Banner. What kind of banner? Cloud banner. What kind of cloud banner? A drifting and striking cloud banner. So that's interesting. What did Cleary do? Cleary said wind striking cloud banner. Wind striking cloud band. Doesn't help. Yeah. At the end of row three, these spirits appear again. And there, the master has comment on this spirit. He said, Piao just a Piao ya bu ding, just a feng chui de, Piao lai Piao chui de, 
to try to explain Pia on the first chapter. Say so this, this is. So the, uh, do you know, sure, if you could turn your head this way. It says that uh, this moving uh, waving is not settled, and if the wing is the condition describing by the wind, the wind, when the wind blows, things just keep moving. This, this is what it says. And then Ji of course is strong Ji, Lin Chuang. So it's like Lin Hao Xiang Bao Chuang. The cloud is just like a, a banner. That's why it's the most mm -hmm. You want to tell people where that's coming from? Where you're also looking at what? It's the same commentary that is in the, at the end of the old thing. Right. So I'm saying say that a little bit over. Do we have that other resource? So it's here's the idea, it's a banner. We know what a banner is, we've seen them in uh, the throughout our translation to this point. This this name this appears in lots of spirits' names, but it's a cloud banner. And it's got these attributes of floating and striking. Uh, I mean, can I comment? Yeah. Um, you, you don't have to be polite, just <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, while you folks were all having a one good you know, this was later than that, it was about nine nine o'clock um, on Saturday night. Um, our wife and I were driving home, um, and there were lots of these uh, cloud banners in the sky. They were they were clouds, of course, but they were in the shape of banners. Um, so I suggest we, and then there were a couple of dragon-like clouds too, by the way. They were very nice. <laughs> Above you, Kaya. Yes. Above you, Kaya. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I was very I wouldn't doubt it. That's right. Yeah. Um, so no, I would suggest something like. Um, uh, cloud, uh, cloud, uh, banner like cloud, um, then uh, drift and collide. It's the things that are start waving. You have to speak up, nobody can hear you. Say that it's because of the, the this wind spirit or wind guardian that causes the things to be waving inside of moving. Not that thing is drifting, it's actually causing things that come to the same. Yeah. Um, what you're saying is the banner that's, that's, that's. No, no, I'm saying that it's because of that cloud banner. It, it's the wind that it causes it goes, and it's trying, making things to move. Right. Wind that is. So, wind guardian spirit. Wind guardian spirit, banner like clouds. So, Chin Wei Shu, how do you put what you said into the, the name? Uh, um, okay, there's something very funky would be like that move things and, and uh, this, this story, that destroy the story. And uh, move, move things, I mean, that's not very good, but. <coughs> Okay, this is that. Can you uh, let's work with this now? Banner like clouds, the drifting cloud. What is your idea? How does it change this? The drift one seems to be like the, that the cloud itself is drifting, but it's, it sounds like this cloud is more causing things to, to move. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, like say, a tornado or something. It's everything that goes in just blows things around. So this is kind of tied into a banner. Let's see, I'm sorry. You know what we've done here now is the, the Chinese says banner is the head word. What kind of banner? It's a cloud banner. This turns that around. It's banner like clouds. So that would be Chuang Yun. Right? Mm -hmm. if, if this were true, it would be Chuang Yun. But, but it's not. But it did, I was responding to what that you know, gave us a short Okay. Is that right? Okay, so Sherman's commentary allows it to be what? 
金融是谁的原厂？这个云好像宝昌的是吧？哦，是那个本人。好的。所以是本人来，本人是。Okay, okay. So, okay. What we're talking about for the non-Chinese readers is, if we use this technique called the head word, you this by and large, not every time, by and large, the, the last one before the function is the noun. That's what we're talking. It's a banner. But sure, David's description and Qingwei's description turned it around so it was clouds that were banner-like instead of banner that is cloudy or something. So Shifu's commentary allows it to be that. So that's in this case we'll not use this type of technique. Okay, so banner-like clouds. All right, Chinwei, you had more here. I'll go on there. Okay, so banner-like clouds. Collide is a really good word for strike. The idea that just the clouds are in there banging thing, you know, striking with their fists or or attacking that makes sense. Colliding is what clouds do. They they kind of merge, unless it's really a tornado and then they spin. But collide is a good word for that. Like airplanes and uh, yeah. it seems that uh, we are talking about cloud whirlwind cloud. It seems that we are talking about how hiding with cloud. But to me, the, the image is more like a wind blowing and blasting, I think. Huh? It's a phone. 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 It's Blowing and and blasting, 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 blasting. Yes. blowing and blasting. Better like clouds. That's pretty really good. Wait, 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 wait. Blowing and, and, and blasting. 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 Better like clouds. Blasting. Yeah, yeah. better like clouds. So, B B B. Blowing and blasting. <laughs> clouds blasting. I can't. I don't. I would. I would say. I would much prefer colliding. Blasting is like what blast blasts from the center out, wow, yeah. like that, right? Like a hand grenade or a bomb. And the clouds, I've never seen a cloud go, that way. right? They kind of do, they kind of move as a piece. That's oh. <laughs> 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 This doesn't say tornado. It just says wind. Well. commentary said, yo, typhoons. That's mostly spiral. But blasting, right? Can you sure blasting it? Pop, right? Yeah. It depends on what you are trying to convey. For me, I'm trying to convey that the force of the wind. Okay, yeah, convey the force of the wind, right. But I think there are other words that don't. To me, blasting is dynamite, right? Dynamite blast. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. that, that's kind of the, if you look at Master Paul's commentary, that's what he said. That this is even fiercer than the previous one. Okay, Jin Jing Shir, is that like? Shirfu's description? That, that Ju Feng Yu platform. Oh, okay. Where was that? Here. Never mind the, the young girls, that pay no attention to that part. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there are infinite many wind guardian spirits. 又有这么多无量无边这么多主风神，主风神就是管着风，啊、um, ，wind guardian spirit， 啊、uh, ，spirit really guard or watch the wind。There are different kind of wind， 有种种的风，狂风、飓风、台风。There are lots of different winds. There's the 狂风 ，which is what like a gale, a gale wind. A, a 飓风 of a、uh, hurricane. Hurricane and a 台风 tornado. Okay. Not tornado, typhoon. Typhoon. That's a hurricane. So what is Jufeng? Okay, so we also have, what are, there's hurricane, there are typhoons, there are tornadoes, there are, there's other, there's one more that's, that's the column when they, like a, a hurricane on the land becomes something else. Anyway, you get the idea. So we need one word here to move on. Uh, let's see. Can we have the intensity of colliding maybe? Maybe G is a bit more stronger than 
Um, she uses a blast of wind, like a stone or a cannonball, to knock them down for good. And this is the uh, commentary. Banner of banner like clouds, not a banner of clouds, that makes sense. Banner like is what the is saying. Banner like clouds that strike, we got two likes, that strike like the wind. Does that have piao in there? Uh, banner like clouds are uh, just blowing and, and blasting. Because, because the blowing and blasting is the name of the banner like clouds. Say it again. Uh, Pat, can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, because we are, not link, we, are, we are not trying to link in the, the clouds and, and, and the striking. It's not the cloud striking, nor is the banner striking, it's the wind striking. So we can say wind striking banner like clouds. And take that as the, the name of the, of, 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 the, of, of the phrase. What was our original? Um, who's that there? Here? Okay. The original was I'm sorry. Rivers, oceans, water, fire, wind. Wind, ruling spirit, drifting and striking cloud banner. That's completely changed. That's one of the word. Drifting, striking cloud banner. Wind guardian spirit. Banner like clouds that drift and can anybody improve on collide? Sure, great. Oh, straight's not bad. The world in straight. My intention with strike is that that's something you do with your pen. Not necessarily. As long as strike has you know, for English speakers, as long as collide has a really strong impact in crashing kind of image, I think that would be okay. I think our original issue is collide wasn't strong enough. <coughs> collide was not strong enough? Mm -hmm. Originally, <laughs> that's why we went into it. But it's not the cause that's colliding. And this is not like the yeah. cloud is colliding in that way. Right. But with the word collide, it's not clear whether the clouds are colliding with each other uh, or something mm -hmm. else. But with yeah. strike, you you strike something else. But I, I don't like strike because strike, I, I always, I want an object in there. I also have trouble imagining a cloud striking. I mean, a cloud will strike a mountain. What else do clouds strike? Like a thunderbolt or something like that? Mm. Uh, I have a question. The banner like cloud, uh, that could be like a cloud like banners. Could be. Cloud like banners. That would that puts that puts the the head word back in its place. Trump. Okay. Yes, it also it also says that the banner does the floating and strike. Yeah, it has to be, if it's that way, the banner has to piao and strike. Piao and ti. Right? Instead of clouds. I mean, maybe that's the solution. Uh, yeah, maybe. 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 Okay. okay. Tell me your name again. Eric. 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 Um, isn't the cloud like banner descriptive for the wind guarding spirit? And it's the wind that strikes, not clouds can't strike any, or blow. It's wind that's blowing. The, and the, you know, the cloud-like banner is just a descriptive for the name of the guardian. Yeah. Not the, not the striking. It's, it's not descriptive, it's the name of the guardian. It doesn't describe it, it is the name of the guardian. Okay. Okay, so... But he's not using... Okay, we have a fundamental difference here. <laughs> Are we talking about the, talking about wind? We're not. We're talking about a wind guardian spirit. And, hold on. And he, uh... He's got, we, we said originally, uh, Cindy. Cindy? Uh, sorry, Lee. Just Lee. Lee said she wanted to come, want us to come back to Chuang. And we said that the, this was, according to Sherpa's commentary, that we're actually talking about uh, Yun, not Chuang. Now, she made the case, and we, it could be that these, this is banners, cloud-like banners. Think about flags. 
so many of them, they look like clouds, right? They're just all over the sky. That's one way to think about it. But the problem with that is banners don't float and strike, right? Banners don't bump into each other. Clouds do. Clouds merge and, you know, they billow and layer upon layer. So I think we're going to go with Wumin Gayong Yun, I think. Why see? Yeah, no, no, this is talking about Zhu Feng Zhen. So the whole character is described the countries or the shapes of the Zhu Feng Zhen. So the main terms is the shape and the, the PRNG are their functions. Okay. So, I mean, if we look at, uh, so it's not uh, the cloud or the banner, it's the Zhu Feng Zhen. Okay, you <laughs> know. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 那你现在漂移云床它可以说那个主风神它的作用也可以漂配集然后它也可以就是说像把那个云变成一个床一样你知道说这个漂移云床就跟风有关系的所以如果以前的 so to trans to put that the, that insight into English, what do we do? I see. Say it again. These are. Say it one more time in English. That these are the you said these are the functions. These are two yeah, functions and, and of... Yeah, and David's help. I just explained my understanding, and David maybe helped me to um, organize it. Okay, so it is banners or it is clouds? It's clouds. Uh, yes, clouds. Actually, I agree with her that I think we should keep the winged guardian spirit. So that's the main, the holder, the master, who have the power to make the to floating or to striking the feather like cloud. So keep the wing that is great. And then maybe we can use uh, drifting, drifting and striking okay. feather like cloud. All this time we're back to the original. We're on, we're on this, our only, dis, our only difference is this one English word. Yes. Okay, what do we want? 10 seconds. Uh, can I say something? <laughs> Within ten think, seconds, ten seconds more, where you're done. Right. Go ahead. Do I think this uh, wind guardian spirit who uh, over there trip and fly clouds and banner. So the wind blows and uh, drifts both wind, uh, both clouds and banner. Okay. Thank you. If I drift and annihilate. Annihilate. No. What are some synonyms for the second Chinese character? Yeah, let's, can we get some choices here? Who's got the English so the uh, philosophy? What do we need of a, a, a what? A thesaurus. A thesaurus. Collide. Come together with solid and direct impact. Clash. The drift and clash. Two four. Drift and flash. Where did John Scrubs go? We need John Steve. What do we do? Okay, you go. Excuse me. No, hold on. Five seconds. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. Can anybody hear me? Yes. Yes, we can. Hold on for one second. Someone is trying to talk in this room. Can you hold on for just one second, please? Drifts and collides yeah. with clouds and banners. Yeah. Drift and collide yeah. clouds and banners. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if you're if you're sailing on the ocean, you pay a lot of attention to clouds because they can knock your they can sink your ship. Okay, Miguel. The problem with that is you said banner like. So would you say it again one more time? Drift and collide both clouds and banners. Okay, both clouds and banners. Oh. Now that would be drift. That's you know what that is. That's exactly the Chinese word. It's boom, 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 boom. You put one English word exactly on the Chinese, which is, that's one of the ways we early translated. But I think to make it into English, we want to, what do we do? The first problem was this. It was, this is the head word. It should be banner, but Sherpa told us that it was clouds is the head word. It's banner-like clouds. So right away, we've got banner-like clouds. That would be different than yours, right? Okay, but thank you for your idea. Okay, go ahead, Nishwa. Amitabha. Amitabha, you know, uh, we have to consult the context, at least the immediate context. Uh, we can look at the Jing Guang Zhuang Yan Zhu Feng Shan and uh, Ni Ling Jie Shui Zhu Feng Shan. Okay, Ni Jing Liang Jie Shui Zhu Feng we can see that all these three, these four words ahead of the two function are properties of this two function or actions of the two function. For example, for this one, we can say this two function when guardian spirit, he lets fly or lets flow the clouds to strike the banner. Because he is the subject, and uh, these words, Piao Qi Yun Chuang, is the action that the subject to Feng Shen takes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. A okay. A we, can, yeah, we, we can find that also in Li Leng Jie Sui. Yeah, this is also a property of this two function, and Da Sheng Bian is also property or action of this two function. So okay. the four Thank words you. ahead of it are some actions, you know, done by this two function, or some properties uh, possessed of by this two function. Oh. So we have to take note of that fact. That's yes. true. Thank you very much. We're working on this one English word. A strike right is now. more forceful. I mean, a strike is more forceful than collide. So you can see. Strike is more forceful than collide. Strike is more forceful. Actually, you see a fist when it's strike. Well, you can also see a baseball bat. You can see a baseball bat strike. Yeah. Let's strike in the line. Yeah. I'm going to work. Okay. Strike. Let's move on. We have Jin Wong Zhuang. I think we won. We got it. Everybody's happy. Jin Wong Zhuang. If you're not, send me an email, all right? So, Jin Wong Zhuang. Yeah, you're going to This is a wind. Guardian of the spirit, and here are the four words. Yan by itself, in this case, does not stand alone. It's Zhuang Yan. There's here a binomial. Two Chinese words are the head word, and it's uh, this is the standard we, we translate as adornment traditionally. Even in the name of the uh, the flower adornment sutra, we said Hua Yan. We use this originally for the title of our text. We're not doing that now. So, what kind of Zhuang Yan? It is Huang Zhuang Yan. It is light decoration, adornment, uh, garland. And it is a Jing, Huang decoration, light adornment. Pure light adornment. Adornment <coughs> decorated with, made, made beautiful with. I think we automatically translate Zhuang Yan as adornment because that was the very first word in the Matthew English, Chinese English Dictionary. And adornment, to me, sounded too pretty. Is that the too what? We, we always said adornment. And I never adorned things. I decorated. I beautified. I uh, prettied up. You know, that was, the, that was real English. Adornment was always something that a committee did. The adornment, you know, the, the beautification committee. Something that, okay. So, I, it always stuck in my ear that adornment was not the right choice. The, the word adornment uh, implies 
that you're adding this you on. Put it on outside like right. a wreath on a door. At Christmas we put Christmas wreaths on the door. That's an adornment. Right. It's, you take it away later. This is this is much more uh, organic. It's like awesome is is what drawing in can also mean majestic. Majestic is not added on. It's the substance is already wow, drawing in. Feather. Dignified. Huh. Dignified with pure light. Cleary says, arrays of light. Look at that. That's adding meaning. Can I, can I point out something here? Um, notice, this is Thomas Cleary. This is the first English translation. Of course, here's the difference. This is Thomas Cleary's translation of the Bayan Jing in English. This is John Burfai and Jing Fan Yingwen. Thomas Cleary is a much respected, amazing translator who translated so many Chinese sutras, uh, poetry, classics. Now he's moved on to Arabic. He's translating out of Arabic now. Uh, the problem is, and he did the whole thing, the problem is to get, to get it done, he went really fast. And he actually lives in Oakland. Uh, he's a hermit. He's an interesting man. Um, his own grad students said our teacher often, to get speed, omitted stuff. Almost every page of this you can find mistakes. Almost every page. And here's an example. Notice he gave us innumerable wind spirits at the top and then dropped to function from every name. Now, from my point of view, that's wrong. You're just deleting to function all gone. He just listed a rays of light, hari to dry up, instead of giving the name. So that's how he got there fast was cutting words out. I don't think that's right. Master Shen Zhuang, Shen Zhuang Dasher, he was he knew he was dying after he went to India and came back, carrying the sutras on his back, you know? And he had he was facing the daunting task of translating the uh, the largest sutra in the whole Buddhist, in the whole canon. And he decided to, because in the Tao Bo Jing, the Prajna Sutra, the Mahaprajna Prajna Sutra, there's incredible repetition. Repeat, 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 repeat. Just, and, you know, same repeated. So he said, I might not make it before I die, he said. And so, ah, the thing to do is, where it repeats, cut it out, right? That night, when he made that decision, maybe announced it while the emperor was in the audience, he had a, a dream that he was being chased by tigers across the mountains, and he barely escaped with his life. The next morning, he showed up at the assembly. He said, <coughs> "Excuse me. Uh, yesterday, we said not anymore. Put the words back in. <laughs> Don't believe." <laughs> so, I think this is how clear he got there fast: is by dropping to function nine times. Not a good. Idea. Like of purity? Like of purity is good. Fine purity. That's a like purity. Okay? Everybody likes it? Fine. When we get it right, everybody knows. Here, like 20 minutes go by and we're saying, no, 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 no. Here, like, yep, that's it. Okay, here we go. Li nam jie. Okay, Zhu Feng Shan, Wind Guardian Spirit, Water. Water. Jie, what tone? Second. Jie, that can dry up. Parch. The parch. 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 Right? Able to strength. So strength, able to parch water. No. What does it do? It would it, Evaporate. Ah. Evaporate. That's what water does, right? If you wind, a big wind blowing over a puddle pretty quickly, if you want to dry something, what do you do? Hair dryer. Think hair dryer, <laughs> right? Hair dryer. Right? Your hair dries because the wind is blowing. That's what's going on. But uh, here, are we talking about evaporating the water or just blow away the water? 
according to the Chinese here, uh, about the master's version of it. It's just a... Okay. It very good, it takes time, right? But it works away, it's very quick and it's very strong. Okay, so Shurfu says it's wind that blows the water away. We were thinking another actual natural process, which was evaporating, that the water turns into vapor. So how do we decide this? So we, uh, so, uh, it sounds to me like if you evaporate it, it's very slow and weak. So how about just using something more like heat? Yeah, that's a very I'm sorry, say again, how about it? Deplete? Deplete means to, to insufficient, not enough. Is that, you said deplete? Yeah. I, I think that's not going to work here, but you're on the right track. What, 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 what's, what action? We have two natural actions. One is wind displacing, that's displacing water, moving it out, or drying it up. Is it dry up, or is it, the word was evaporate? To blow away? Blow away. Yeah, throw away. In, in volume three, it does say um, she has the ability to absorb water that is to the water dry. When the wind blows through a region, it dries up all the moisture. Uh oh, that's the other one. Some some well, hydrate. Some winds are so to the mouse the trade kindness. Mouse three of the sitting though the trade hard. So the temperature may be a little different. The comment in the English is to dry up the waters. How about remove? It's less specific. No, just remove the water, dry the water. So I think dry up is okay. Because dry up is the ending state. I understand that the Chinese mainly said the wind. The power of the wind, the, the wind spirit, uh, blow away the water, and finally the water dry up. Okay. So dry up is the ending state. So I think we should keep dry up. <laughs> so she, uh, the idea is so blow away. Nobody is going to blow away. Okay. What about remove? What about absorb? <laughs> no. 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 Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You would have a word. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. okay, thank you. Hold on. We're still going. Okay, the problem, we need some way to identify so we can meet a traffic. Yeah, so the, the uh, voices online have a power to just interrupt them. Okay, what about evaporate? No. It's the same. Dry up and evaporate is the same, aren't they? No. No. No? Why? <laughs> what's, what's the difference between evaporate and dry up? <laughs> Marion, this is in your ballpark. <laughs> Drinking the water with uh, all all different ways uh, that that the water uh, goes away, but um, uh, the the end result is that it, it's drying up. If you evaporate water, that's just that's a very specific process. Okay. Yeah. So, Mary is saying the result is it dries up, but there are many ways to get to drying up. One is to blow it away, one is to evaporate it, one is to absorb it. Can we say blow dry? To blow dry. That's not like <laughs> Head dry. Head dry. Blow 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 dry. There is a process 
when you're packing That's right, that's right. Water. You can pull out that little white packet from your... Desiccant. Desiccant. Yeah, that's called des that little white thing that yeah. you throw away. Yeah. And it always says, do not eat. Right. right. Because you'll be desiccated. You'll be <laughs> desiccated as you do. Okay, we are, we had, uh, can we improve on dry up? I don't think the best natural thing is dry up water. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's that is that's a good one. I hear people can put in the money, but they have to get to the water. Oh, okay. Here's this thing. Yeah. 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 Dry up the water. Oh, okay. Here's a suggestion. Uh, dry up the waters. I think that's great. Yeah. Waters yeah. includes yeah. oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, yeah. Yeah. teacup, tea, yeah. teacup. To dry up the waters. The Good. waters is a biblical word. Yeah. And the voice was upon the waters. <laughs> <laughs> and is it that he has the potential to do it, or is it that it's his power does it? Um, power, okay, the power, power that, dries, power that dries up, dries up the water. Yeah. Now, mm. yeah, to he, that it, it's like this, when you say that it limits it to drying up the water. Yeah. If it's power to, to he could or he could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everybody got it? Oh. Yeah, Hand Guardian Spirit, power to dry up the water. That even sounds good? Nian the Shiho, the Shun Tong. Okay, here we go. Zhu Feng Shen, Wind Guardian Spirit. Uh, Hou. Hou is a roar, a, a great sound. Um, bian is to, is that fourth tone? Bian. Bian. Yes. Bian means everywhere, pervasive. Sheng, sound, voice, da, big. Big voice, pervasive, roaring, uh, like a lion, like a peacock, the peacocks. Loud and pervasive, howling. Howling reminds me of uh, monkeys. Reminds you of a monkey. Monkey. <laughs> and also, loud and pervasive howling, I always think of um, like a, a mental institution. Somebody's locked in jail and they're saying, <laughs> something like that. You yeah. know, you, you, I've, been, I've been trained, I've been trained. Or crying. I don't think the wind, I guess the wind does howl. Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. not yeah. okay if it's the wind. I like howling. Yeah, because howling is the same. It's the same pronunciation as the whole. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great voice howling everywhere. Uh, great voice howling everywhere. Cleary gave us the everywhere back. That this is not. Oh, this is pervasive. Loud and pervasive howling. Anybody want to change it? Not pervasive. Not pervasive. Me too. I'm, I'm not a fan of Pervasive. Pervasive has a negative connotation. Um, uh, the, the, um, yeah, it's got lots of examples of that. A, per, a pervasive sense of, of evil. I don't know. Loud and unwelcome. Uh -huh. you, don't, you don't want it to be there. Pervasive odor? Yeah. <laughs> okay, loud and loud howling everywhere. I think with loud, we're giving up what the Chinese gives us, which is the word great. Howling is already loud. Howling you can't have a soft howling. What about prevailing? Just a second, did you hear? Howling with loud voice everywhere. That may be redundant because howling is already loud. Okay, can we, there's, a, there's a difference here. Ah, the sheng can be a voice or it can be a sound. If it's a voice, it's, a, it's someone making it. If it's a sound, it's just out there. It could be nature. Okay. So we have to decide, is, is the spirit making, is, he, is the spirit 
howling, or is it a, a howling sound that came from the wind, for example? So, is it big voice or big sound? You're voting not the sound and the howling. So okay. You say that the howling and the voice. Okay, the voice so, all right, so how about the pian? We have to deal with that loud and persistent. Yeah, loud howling everywhere. It's simple. Say again? Loud howling er howling, loud er howling everywhere. everywhere. Simple. I, I think that um, it's the, uh, the negative connotation of pervasive may not be inappropriate when you're dealing with howling. Yeah. Hmm. Point. I don't think sounds pervading. It's not quite the right word. Um, I think that, um, what am I going to say? Um, I would like to see a great howling rather than a loud howling. Um, and I don't think you need to translate the word shun because it's already in the whole. Okay. In English. That's the point. You could just say great howling. Anyway. The, um, I think it's, the, it's, a, it's a single source of the howling. And it's heard, widely heard anywhere. You can make howling that, If it's the howling in the way, then it means that in every place you go, there's somebody who's doing howling. But, I, I think it's just but one you know, it's, if, when you, we're talking about uh, Hong Kong, and if you've ever been out, like in a tent, when it's a, there's a windstorm, it's the, it comes from all directions. So if we say everywhere, great howling everywhere, what? Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. 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 That was worthwhile. Here we go. <laughs> okay, this is the Wind Guardian Spirit G. And we've had a lot of experience with this word. There's a lot. Kui Ji. Shu. This is Miao, right? Second tone? Shu Sao. So tree branch or like um, the what's the you go from trunk to branch to branch tip? Is this a branch tip? Okay, so branch tip. So it's the, it's the far out of the branch, the, the far as you can go. And G. Okay, so you got it. It's G. It's trailing down like a willow trails down. Tree branch tip, literally. Tree branch tip trailing down, and this word is the one that we're translating it long as um, spiritual prominence on the sacred prominence on the crown. Short, we've been saying atna. atna. But isn't this the headdress? Is it, is it like the wind is like some wood spirit that's got, and you know. Um, his hair or her hair is trailing the wind. Okay, how is so? Okay, I want to show people, see if we can find it. Uh, Haudenosaunee. The uh, Iroquois Indians of Native America and Canada, the original owners of most of the East, the Iroquois have a, have a ceremonial headdress that is Let's see if we can find it. I'm just taking a chance here. The um, Odinosone headdress has trailing branch tips on it. Let's see if we can get one. Uh, here it is. It's this one. Look at this. Uh, yeah. Here's the Odinosone headdress right here. This is their longhouse. That's, they, they're, it's a very strange looking headdress. Uh, with branches that just trail. Uh, let's see if maybe we can maybe we can focus in here. Look at their territory originally. Most of the US, eastern U.S. was theirs. Now they have they're down to 30 acres. Here it is, right here. Check it out. That's a Haudenosaunee headdress. See the trailing branches, branch tips. Okay, and further, we had a cowl. Our favorite cowl illustration is. Uh, <clears throat> well, we've been also using it as a, head, as a headdress, haven't we? Yes, we also use headdress. Um, 
It's, I don't see it. Uh, okay, what we'll do, we're going to go back here just to show what cowls look like. And it's interesting because currently, in current culture, we have the hoodie. And hoodies are, they're hood, hooded sweatshirts. And uh, here is a cowl. Um, we automatically translated G with the word cowl in the past, and we discovered that. Thank you. Okay, um, different kinds of cowls we discovered was what's called a dicky, D I C K I E, that goes around the neck. And here, this is, it includes uh, a headdress. Wasn't there a monk there somewhere? That's in the Wikipedia. Monk's cow. Someone draw? In the Wikipedia. Wiki. Wikipedia. We got a picture from Oh, that was on, on Wikipedia? Yes. Monk's cow. Let's see if we can find something. Just for fun, because we're talking about something that, that uh, they wear, something that is worn. Okay, here is a monk with a cowl. This is a Roman Catholic monk wearing a cowl, C-O-W-L, this right there. And I think there's one more down the page. There it is, that's the one. Here's a monk with a cowl. This is probably a monk from the Middle East, so he's got his head and he's got hair and beard. Shamis, don't, don't imitate this. <laughs> Somebody can say, shoo, I'll grow a long beard. So that's a cowl. Now, we have here. It is a trailing cowl of tree branches. Wind guardian spirit. And we have been using top knot. One word or two? Headdress of trailing branch tips, branches? Branches. Anybody want to do anything with that? Headdress? Headdress of this. is good. Okay. Anybody? If it's a top knot, then it's up here. That's the whole point of this trailing. Yeah. Cleary said, I'm going to. Tree branch hanging top knot. That's complete Chinglish. That's one word, two words, three words, four words in Chinese, right? Tree, branch, trailing. Okay, headdress of trailing branches is English. Going once, going twice. Yes, Junior. I'm looking at the commentary on row three. The master says, has this is the root of the root. Just talking about the, the branches dripping, uh, uh, hanging like a G. Like a G. Is that the second tone? Is the fourth tone? G. Oh, I said it wrong. G. Okay, sorry. I said the three branches hanging down just like a G. Oh. So it's used to modify the branches. Uh -huh. See, in the standard, standard grammar would be, it's a headdress, which we have here. So, Jin yong is saying that it's the tree branches that look like... It's a master figure now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that's correct. But in the commentaries of the English of these words, is this actual... Translate of this actual name. That was our, her cow is shaped like a canopy overhanging branches. I don't know if the Chinese in the actual Chinese reflects that. And then it, of course this car translation. Okay. So I I think this is a really uh, clear yeah. translation. 
and it supports the Chinese grammar. Not to say we're disrespecting uh, commentary, but this, this, we're not wrong anyway. <coughs> People, people want to uh, just open it up again. Okay, I have a, I have a request, which is, um, and I didn't preview this with our guests, but um, we have with us today uh, 14 people who are vigorous translators of Master Shechong's work, and what a rare opportunity for this committee to learn a little bit about their process. Could we use the last half hour today to find out about their good work? And maybe they could even use the, the computer to check. I didn't ask first, that's not polite. Um, <laughs> 大家请继续了 已经把这些龙泉寺带来的书籍呢，就大量的有供养图书馆已经为演会这个，所以他们的礼品已经送来了，那我们是后来的就就换。The uh the our delegation has already given us abundant books of Shui Chang Da Hu Shang's work, and so we've already received those. Today we're a little late, but we wanted to to return these. <笑><笑><笑>
Japanese translation. Okay, the people who are joining us online, we have disconnected uh, join me. So people on Skype, um, we're going to have a presentation from Wong Chan Si about their work yeah. and their vision. So sorry that you won't be able to, uh, to join, but you can join in the audio. You can give us.
and uh, there are um, some equipment for the simultaneous interpretation. And the first uh, time for it to be used was in the year 2009 when the religious delegation of Obama administration uh, visited Notre Dame Street. And at the time, uh, Professor Ron was also there. Ron Epstein. Yeah. yeah. 然后呢，这是我们的山门。龙泉寺呢，最早建的时候，辽代英利初年，距今已经有一千多年的历史。这是我们的山门。This is the gate of Longquan Monastery. The monastery was first built in the early Yingli period of Liao Dynasty, more than 1,000 years ago. 好，然后呢，这是我们的师傅，上学下行大河的中国佛教协会的长，诸位副会长，接着刚才我们介绍过的明星哥。this is our Shifu Venerable Master Xu Cheng. He is the Vice President of the Buddhist Association of China. And also, the upper picture is the pavilion we introduced just now, and the lower one is the meditation hall. 那么，龙泉寺在历史上呢，兴盛的时候最多是有一万个人，呃，一万多人在这里修行过。然后到近代呢，开始慢慢的，呃，没落。然后，二零零五年四月十一日呢，重新的正式开放，迎请呃，学生大和尚来主持工作，重新恢复为宗教活动场所。In the history, when the monastery was flourishing, there are more than ten thousand practitioners there. In um, uh, recently, uh, in recent 100 years, it decayed, and in the year of 2005, on the day of April 11th, uh, the monastery was reopened as religious uh, uh, affairs, and Venom Master Xu was um, was uh, uh, Venom Master Xu Chong. Um, was invited to be the abbot of the monastery. These, because our special feature is that we can do eight languages of translation, so the above is the list of the Chinese, 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 Content is the brief introduction to the monastery in Japanese, Korean, Spanish, French, English, Russian, and so on. 那么，呃，大和尚呢是大陆地区最早展开国际弘法的高僧大德，在他的指导下呢，北京龙泉寺成立了翻译中心，正式成立的日期呢是二零一一年的一月十八日。那么在之前呢，呃，龙泉寺是一个有一个翻译组。Venom Master Xu Cheng is the earliest animal mouse in mainland China that he used. Um, can you go back to the previous page? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he pioneered the Semi Dharma internationally, and under his guidance, um, Hong Chen Monastery set up the translation center. And, and on the day of January, um, 18, 2011, the monastery chong uh, set up the translation center, and before the center there, there is a translation group of This picture describes the day of January um, 18th when when Master Xu Cheng uh, was in the translation center and uh, gave a uh, teaching on the future development planning of the translation center. Because now we're living in an era when the East and West have dialogues, exchanges, and integration, so Lama's um, children um, hold high expectations on the translation center.
。那么目前呢，我们主要利用的分为四个方面，一个是呢，它是巴黎总微博的影片的更新和翻译；第二个方面呢，是多语种法会的等，以及各种国际交流活动的组织；第三个方面是蒙天寺各位图书和音像制品的翻译和出版。那么第四个方面呢，是为寺院的相关接待和国际佛教及文化交流活动提供翻译服务。What the Chesley Center、uh, is doing now has two aspects. The first is to、uh, update and translate the、uh, multilingual <coughs> microblog of the association. The second is to organize、uh, multilingual activities and international exchanges. Third is.、Uh, The translation and publication of various books and audio-video products of the monastery, and the fourth is to provide translation support for monastery <coughs> reception, international Buddhist and cultural exchange programs. Uh, 第一项呢是大和尚的八语总微博，开通日期是二零一一年的二月十七日，农历元宵佳节。The first is the、uh, multilingual microblog in eight languages of the master tradition, and the launching date was on、uh, February 17, 2011, the Latin festival. 我我可以问问题，什么叫 microblog？ Mini blog? Mini blog 是为什么命名？在 Twitter， 在在 Twitter。怎么说？ Twitter。Twitter。This is、um, look at what、uh, if it's Twitter, it's 140 characters, and it's master underscore Xue Cheng, right? This is Twitter feed, Xue Cheng Fa Shi Ying Yu. Okay, so 140 characters. It includes mottos and aphorisms. That's the you know the Cheng Yu, the the you know the Shuo Liao Sheng Guo Si Li Gu De Le. Those are very pithy、uh, encapsulated wisdom. Two. Uh, understanding of Dharma and life, so that's interpreting those for both understanding of Dharma and life. Then number three is what's going on. That's the news. So you know what we what we've learned today. Today's news. What what happened today?、Mm -hmm. And then back and forth, questions and answers. So input and output. That's that's these are really uh, uh, broad doors that people can post.、Mm -hmm. uh, you know this this. 四条路就可以到那个微博，就 four four roads to get onto a a Twitter, a Twitter a tweet. Okay, thank you. 继续。好，感恩陈老师。好，那个，然后多语种微博开通以后呢，到目前为止已经吸引了三百多家海内外的媒体，中国最顶尖的有呃人民网啊、新华网啊，像这是中国文化报啊，然后这是全国政协的一个报纸，然后外国呢，像这个 BBC 啊、CNN。都有，总共是合计三百多家海外媒体的报道。这个就是 BBC 的一个报道。Uh -huh. So the three hundred media outlets have, have have come back after following the tweets and said, what you know, one or two more, including the BBC. Cool. 好，这样的。那这个是在呃今年年初的时候，二月二十九日的时候，我们把去年的全年的微博集集成书，出版了这本书，叫《北京龙天寺的三百六十五天》。然后它是八个语种的，它是被中国媒体认为是中国第一本的多语种的微博书，因为它涵盖八个语种，所以应该这个世界上一半以上的人口都可以看懂。所以我说我不我不同他。This is this is published in February. This is a big deal. This is the first time it's brand new that anything like this had ever come forward from from Chinese Buddhism. You know, so this this got a lot of attention around the world. One year's worth of, of tweets and microblogs. Wang Wang Shou, you should watch what you mean. Okay. 
<laughs> it was regarded by, uh, as the first uh, book about uh, of multilingual microgram in China. The first one in China. Yeah, and also uh, because first one in the world, I think. It's the first one. Yeah. More, more than half uh, of the population world can understand. Yeah. With eight languages, more than half of the world's population are covered with eight languages. There is the amount of legal activities in Muslim monastery. Uh, every year we'll have more than 11 multilingual activities. Mm. Uh, uh, 它的内容呢涉及到一方面是诵读经典另一方面呢有一些佛教化的读物比如说做禅的另一方面呢还有一些中国传统文化的活动比如说包种的这些你看这个老外他可以当讲这个老外还有一节课 So the content includes uh, sutra chanting and uh, Meditation sitting, uh, which is very uh, Buddhist, and other traditional or Chinese culture activities. Okay.然后呢，下面一项呢，就是大和尚的开始问题和印象之品的翻译出版，啊，包括大和尚的开始问题之一，啊，人生、爱情和安德斯泰尼瓦，包括这些多元化会的介绍和这个一些。Um, this is translation and publication of collections of Lama Chuchong's Stamp Talks and audio video products like um, uh, Understanding Life, an uh, introduction to the multilingual Dharma Sambis, and also uh, the uh, DVD with English subtitles. Uh, uh, some DVDs also uh, include eight languages. So their DVDs come out in eight languages too. That's yeah. nice. <音>包括这些都用法规这是七个一种的单行本中英中法规大众的是法规这是 其中有一个呢，就是中国和印度建交六十周年的时候，呃，印度大使馆和中国的对外友好教育协会共同组成了一个佛教退治亚洲传统文化的这样的论坛，然后是用这四个志愿者提供了一个共同传译的服务。
组织的一些翻译志愿、翻译工作的组织员的一些交流活动，包括多一种交流会，包括这样一个意见交流会。This this is organized by ourselves uh, for the interpreters and translators. 然后呢，我们目前的情况呢是，呃，所有团队的构成全部是由志愿者组成，来自于几十个不同的国家和地区。So、at present, our team is uh, uh, is formed by uh, volunteers completely, and they come from us. Uh, Many uh, different countries and regions. Then our team has a very important uh, one of the key features is the and the the A very important characteristic of our team construction is that it emphasizes the Buddhism uh, practicing and also the volunteering working. Okay, please everybody pay attention to this point. Right, the translator is also called. They got funny the rental issue. This is a picture that we went to the uh temple of Beijing to worship Buddha Tis Sarira. This is also part of a Buddhist然后呢，这是今年的五月二三日，北京五千四正式的中国翻译协会的会员，是中国翻译协会三十年来第一个来自宗教界的会员。然后中国翻译协会是在呃中国唯一的一个在翻译方面唯一的一个全国性的团体，
we're still we're still we're still getting our momentum up, and uh, as we go, I think we'll catch up and uh, make up for the time that we we used in getting our foundation solid. Woman,那个翻译呢,所以有要要要平衡,就说你真正了解那个比较深入的了解会慢。然后呢,你可以决定要速度也要快,你如果太快呢,就就是精着风,慢着松,不进不慢就成功。all right, so let it, yeah, Alan. Uh, Pastor Hamilton, one quick question. Uh, on Saturday, three ladies uh, from Beijing, she asked me about the translation equipment uh, that Phil purchased. Phil, they are also very interesting. And I just called Phil. He will be ready to talk uh, either tomorrow, 7 a.m. But right now, he's driving someone, actually two people, to airport right now. Oh. So he won't be available until probably 5 p.m. this afternoon. So either after 5 today or tomorrow, 7 a.m. So he will be ready to uh, share the information uh, based on the equipment he purchased. So I remember three ladies talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, Okay, now to Long Pan Shifang Wan Chuan, Wei Wu, Yu Yu Shen Fong. Okay. I suppose that from 8 to 8.30, it's a feedback discussion from Lokins about their visiting and their um, feedback to our the translation um, session today. Okay. So are we going to put the transference later or let's not? transfer now and then have an informal sharing, okay? okay. YC suggests that we use the next half hour to hear from uh, feedback from the Council the delegation. And uh, we should transfer first and then we'll have an informal sharing. Not everybody has to run at eight thirty. Some of the board members need to leave at eight thirty. Okay, next meeting will be next Monday at 8.30. Okay. Back to time? Back to, Back to normal. Okay, body and fun. Okay, Miguel, will you be here? Yeah. Okay, we'll wait. Don't be late, all right? Okay, you were on time today. Thank you for coming. Hello, now we are going to the next
坐坐坐坐坐坐坐坐坐前坐。这个慈悲和智慧的力量你看这两天办这个活动我们来的时候刚好这个天气没有那么热是啊这是确确实是有这个主持打的他们那个这个福报和智慧确实有这种力量所以这几天在这边这个从吃的睡的心情方面都非常
要呃这个出家了，出家后来他就下来说，师傅我我我这个出家受不了，我想还俗。然后就下来说下人这个不允许，后来说很久上，好那你回去吧，回去看看，回去过一段时间又出过来了，上人我不想回去了，我又想出家，上人又又允许他了，又允许他出家了，然后如此三番三次，上人都允许了。啊、嗯，都感觉上人的慈悲。嗯。再一个，他是东北辽宁的，就是他们老乡。嗯嗯嗯嗯。一个省的。都是。哈哈哈哈哈。你看这个这个印象很深，这里面上人的最初的缘分，就知道这个上人是一个大修行人，非常不可思议。再一个，这几天我们这个对于上人的法会啊，这个组织的这么多居士来，我想在美国来说，应该是第一个。没一般没不会有这么多人，能够吸引这么多这个中国人啊、外国人以及各个国家的，还还不是那么简单。昨天晚上看到。对，特别是昨天晚上的地方很震撼的，你看多少外国人过来，是吧？这一点我觉得是很不可思议的。特别是这个我们前两天的呃翻译交流，翻译交流了两次，可以说交流的时候我个人感觉很受用。就是咱们这些翻译的实际问题和困难，那大家通过提出来互相交流，就能够互相啊知道这个问题怎么解决，能够互补。包括上网、Skype 从外国。哎，对对对，同步工作对，同步，包括今天也是同步，是吧？所以这些都是我们要要学习的。呃，翻译经典这些，我们还是完全是一片空白，是一个幼儿园。所以这个以后呢，我们会多加学习。现在网络也方便。就通过这一次来，呃，就是彼此更熟悉了，包括咱们这个这个成员，所以以后包括网络各方面都可以交换意见，互相学习。我觉得这个很殊胜，我不能说太多了，大家。哈哈哈！我我我再来讲讲一句，那个今天师傅我想讲一句，那个呃。Uh, let me can I let me say it in, in English, make sure I get it right. Who can translate for me? Who wants to do it? Where's Jinjin? Uh, I'm just sure you know. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm afraid I'll get it wrong. I said. Okay. So when when we heard that Wang Transi was coming exactly at the time of our uh, 50th anniversary, we thought, oh no, why this time? <laughs> Because we want to greet you. And we're going to be busy with other things. <laughs> we thought, oh my God, you know, how do we do that? And then we realized we're not two different groups. We're one group. We'll just bring you in, and you will become the hosts for all the Americans who are coming. You will become the hosts、uh, along with us. And because I believe it's because our teachers' vows and Shri Shankarachan's vows are the same vows. To bring the Dharma to the world, so you know, Hong Yuan, we put it right together, and it worked out perfectly. I saw all of you picking up brooms and, and sweeping, and, and inter, you know, arranging chairs, and so it was fine. We're really one Dharma family, East and West. So I thought, no problem. This is the perfect time for you to come. It was not the wrong time. So we wound up、uh, truly not worried about each other, but, but bringing the Buddha Dharma forward. So with that in mind, everything will. Okay. Oh, you. Oh, you. You got it, man. Present. No, I'm good. Oh, okay. 刚刚我是说那个，那个就找到那个龙泉寺要来到这边啊。Okay, let me say. 你我看到你们来啊，你们选择这个时候，你说，哎呀，跟我们，我们要来，我们一定要。招待，嗯，可是呢，恐怕我们的也没会跑到另外，那么多人，那么这个大的法会，然后我们再想，哎，那么我们不是两个国家，不是两个佛教，是一个佛教，是一个家庭，请你们来，跟我们哈利塞，就是这个一一起就一起办，那么不然就这样子，先看你们就不分彼此，有。要动扫把，你们就拿扫把来；要动椅子呢，就来跟我们一起做当主人，欢迎这些美国人呐、啊，啊，越南人呐、啊。所以我们真的是为一个目标。我觉得是为什么可以这样子
，因为学生道德上跟学生上面的愿力是一样的，我们就是要法律途径，把政法介绍给这个世界的，就是这个苦恼啊、业障深重的众生，这样子。因为这个关系，所以光与光就合了，这样子一点的问题都没有。我看那个我很高兴。今天是讲完同意之后，讲那。两位大，两两位和尚，这种同样的研究，就是正好能够在全世界，然后发扬光大，然后一路扩进，所以来来才会我们我们今天相会的一天，这样子。OK， 那么我们还请张夫人讲一句话哈，因为他呢，就这这几天，其实我们在准备一个六个月啊，那么很多很多是张夫人，还有。刘国富啊，他们两位呢，有句话你讲两句吗？他是老万福城的，从最早最早，他是建筑师，他是洛杉矶的 UCLA 的建筑师毕业，他的他的这个事业会很大，他就把一切都放下，就在万福城。那个，谢谢石法师给我机会，那那个很高兴看到大家来，那大家都这么年轻。那这个呃，像师傅讲的，万佛城是世界上每一个人的，其实这就是呃，万佛城就是你们的家，就是你们每一个人的。那今天呃，我很高兴看到你们都回来，呀，那这个以后有机会啊、呃，请大家啊、呃、随时来，呀。Good, thanks。我夫，你讲几句吗？哦。啊，阿弥陀佛。这是刘国富女士，她呃，她呢是马来西亚籍，她呢，呃，她的在这边就把一切都托给佛法。那么她在这里养她两个孩子，一个刚刚 Princeton 毕业 ，Princeton 大学毕业，她的大她的儿子。那么她的女儿也现在是，啊，她是我们这边的德语门生，然后呢到我们的什么 UC Davis，UC Davis, UC Davis 对。对所以呢，他跟他太太在这里就要什么事情要办得好，就给刘国富做啊。<笑>这不是想脸上贴金的，<笑>他的他的电话号一定要在那个手机。阿弥陀佛，啊，这这是一个很好的福田，这是给我们机会来这里啊，种我们的福，然后修我们的会，所以我觉得万佛寺呢是一个啊。大家都有机会来啊、呃、修福修慧，那我们也欢迎你们啊来跟我们一起合作，把这个翻译经典呢、啊，这个伟大的事业，师父曾经说过，这个工作呢，原本是皇帝才有那个力量来做的，啊，可是呢，他今天能够把它办到这样子，然后也也也度了很多。奥巴马才不美国美国的人，那<笑>度了很多的美国人，所以我们今天可以看得到啊，因为有师傅能够把这个经典解释得非常清楚，然后把这些啊一批的美国人，让他们啊还有一些中国人也好，不不论什么人，他们的那个修行，就能够把这个经典的精髓，真正的把它啊。呃，就是呃，融入在这个英文的翻译。那我的希望就是从英文呢，再把它发扬光大成世界的语言。我觉得英文的比较广泛到别种语言，这是我深深的一个感觉。为什么师傅把法带到美国来？那我是希望看到把这个法。翻译成英文了之后，就会更加容易的翻译到全世界，可能是百一百多种的语言。这个是我希望啊、呃，我们法总能够做得到的。而且石法师呢，愿意把这个龙头拿起来，那我希望我们大家都要支持，把这个伟大的事业把它办好。<笑>到到回去中国呢，是麦德威呢每次带啊，他他的愿力也是把商人的经书，呃，在回去中国用繁体简体字来回。回那么好像很大，所以麦德威呢，你讲。其实这个是商人的愿力，啊、呃，因为商人认为呢，我们
们要把这个正法再带回去中国，然后呢，再又再从中国呢又再发扬啊到全世界。啊，今天我代表了啊我们居士们，还有法师们，啊，非常的啊荣幸能够和你们大家啊在一起。呃，其实啊，这几天除了他们要帮忙工作之外，他们连吃的，因为我们通常都是最后一把的一批进去吃饭，所以有的时候呢，吃都不是吃得很好。他们因为我都是和他们在一起，所以我知道，呃，有的时候只是吃一个白饭或者一些白面条，呃，一点点青菜，所以呢。我就感觉到他们真的就像我们一家人，啊，没有分彼此，啊，这是真的啊，非常的感恩，高兴。而且呢，啊，我趁这一个机会呢，我们也感谢了金莲法师，因为他实在呢，非常，到处都要把我们安排，啊，所以呢，啊，希望我们很快又再见面。Sorry, I dare to have a question. Actually, two points. Um, I'll speak in Chinese. Um, 那个我我觉得刚才从早晨非常 serious 那个 translation work 到这个这个欢送哈有点还要转化那个。呃，有一个想法，我是想，嗯，这个像翻译《华严经》这样非常伟大的事业，到从中文到英文，嗯、呃，我在想有没有可能，我们把这个 effort 这个努力更扩大一些。比如说，我们现在是从中文翻译到英文，我们有没有可能在有一些呃，就是呃，在想这个词汇的意思的时候，再回到那个最原始的那个文字，我不知道是是巴利文还是什么文。换文。嗯，呃，或者再看，呃，我觉得用那个呃，宣化上人的那个解释也很好，或者有没有可能再看一些其他的解释？就是说，呃，我们把这个这个思路的来源再更深一些，这个根再深一些，然后那个范围也再更广一些。嗯，一个是这个想法，还有一个，呃，那个最后看到就是学生大和尚有那个愿力，就是也将来要翻译经典。我觉得刚才那个呃，红石法师说的，我们是一个佛教一个家，我觉得这个概念特别的伟大。然后，而且那个看到我们对于翻译来说，就是龙泉寺和万佛城是不同的特点，不同的方面，就是将来我们要做的时候，我们要把它做成一股力量，然后发挥各自的特长。那是最好。这这位居士是，他本身在美国。哦，对，他也是建筑的。对对，搞建筑的。建筑。那以后没有时间就可以来这边。是，欢迎欢迎，对。